Hey everyone, it's Seb Fire back here from Fire Gaming, and in this video, as you can see, we're back in Black Ops 3, and in this video, we're going to be doing the top five best training slash camping spots in Drive and Jack Black Ops 3 Zombies. So basically, this is going to be like if you are struggling to get to high rounds, or maybe you just want to have a good strategy to get to high rounds, uh, watch this video, and these are my personal opinion top five best training spots in all of Black Ops 3 Zombies. Well, not all of Black Ops 3 Zombies, all of Deride and Draha. So, let's get straight into it. So at number five, we have above double tap in the Wonder, Wonder Sphere. So this is a camping spot, as you can see here. And this is the best for taking on Panzers. And I don't usually camp, so I don't use this strategy at all. But my friend Will I Slam Dunk does, so yeah. And he told me it was good, and I'm trying it now, and it's actually quite good, so... Yeah, I don't, not really much to say about this trip camping spot. Not one of the best ones, but it's still quite good. Comes in at number five. Coming in at number four, we have the Illuminati training spot, or the Undercroft, whatever you want to call it. And this training spot is quite good because it's got a lot of space, and the anti-gravity in some cases, and there's a building table here but the main bad reason that this training spot is just absolutely not one of my favorite ones but i wasn't gonna i was about to call it terrible but it's not terrible it's just not one of the best is because the anti-gravity if you jump over the zombies the zombies just absolutely wreck you so that's the main reason why i don't like this training spot comes in at number four still a good training spot though Coming in at number three, we have the camping spot next to Quick Revive. And this camping spot is really good just because there's lots of space for the zombies to run up to and for you inside of the room. And this camping spot it will be ruined if you open this door right here because that basically means that zombies can start running in through there. And that is absolutely terrible. Not the best for panzers, but because you could get trapped by it. But you can just run down these stairs if you're in an insta-kill like me, and if you have a death machine, you can just hold it down, and no zombies will come in, but this camping spot, absolutely amazing, probably the best camping spot in the game, comes in at number three. At number two, we have the courtyard, or upper courtyard training spot that's next to the lab, or the facility, or whatever you want to call it, and this training spot is probably what I use about half of the time getting to high rounds basically because it's got the electric trap there's quite a bit of space but not too much at the same time it's not easy but it's quite hard and but it's not too hard that you can't even train at all just like shadows of evil um upper thing by the i won't get into big details but it's just a bit tight in, in that training spot but this training spot quite good Electric trap, absolutely amazing. You can just train here with the fire bow as I'm doing now, or you can do the lightning bow if you want. This train spot, absolutely amazing. Comes in at number two. Coming in at number one, last but not least, we have the Death Ray Trap, or the Bastion training spot. And this training spot is absolutely amazing. One, because as I mentioned in the name, it has a Death Ray Trap. And there is also where you complete the easter egg by putting the things in there. There's a pack of punch location up here. And there's a wonder sphere as well. And it's got a lot of room. Panzer's quite easy to, to, to defeat here. If you use blast furnace or dead wire, it's just really easy to train here, as you can see here. As well, if you get into a situation like this, you can just train around here and then boom, you're out. Amazing training spot. Best strategy for Dryzen Draha, in my opinion. Comes in at the number one spot by the way also this is going to be all of my personal preference so if you enjoyed this video please leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one have a fantastic day